is so good to be able to sit, to shuffle and pull cards with you right now in this moment. Of course, I'm filming this in October, but the divine has a really interesting way of speaking to us with divine timing. So this is the message that you're meant to hear, Leo, sun, moon, rising. And of course, I welcome my Leo cross watchers. So spirit, what messages do you need Leo to hear right now at this moment in time. Uh, Leo, I don't know why, but I'm, I don't know. I just saw like a wig, which is interesting. A wig. Okay. It's very cosmetic-y. Wigs, lipstick. Um, I just heard the word emotional control. Interesting. Um, okay, Leo, there's something about excess that's coming through for you guys right now. Not doing too much, especially when it comes to drinking, when it comes to partying, when it comes to... Spirit is saying, you know, too much of a good thing can turn into a bad thing really quickly. I don't know what that means for you. And at the base of your reading, you have Six of Cups here. I don't know. I, I'm kind of getting like drinking vibes. Drinking vibes or doing something too much. It just feels like too fast, too much, not good. It doesn't feel good. Kind of gets you into trouble. Um, I'm also seeing a change in your appearance in some way, Leo. Um... Let's say you're normally someone who is up, like taking care of their hair, or taking care of their makeup, doing their makeup, getting dressed in the, in, during the day. It feels like you might've veered off path and veered off course and spirit is like, go back to that old routine, that old ritual of taking care of yourself and dolling yourself up or getting dressed. Um, for those of you guys that are already doing that, I'm seeing a change in your appearance. And it feels pretty drastic. I it feels very fresh. Like you you need you want like a fresh look. Um yeah. So okay, wow, this card really wants to jump out. So we have 6 of pentacles and we have the high priestess just jumped out for you guys. Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So something here is talking to you about give and take, cause and effect, balance, restoring balance, restoring order. Give a little here, get a little there in the Hierophant here. I'm really thinking, Leo, that you are calling, you are meant to be calling, like I'm hearing like taking assessment taking assessment of even the minor details of your life, something feels a little off, I'm not gonna lie. Something feels a little off, something feels a little off balance. It feels like Leo, I'm gonna be honest with you, it feels like you took, um, it's like circumstances around you, events around you that are outside of your control. You did the best that you could with that you turned lemons into lemonade, and then all of a sudden you're like, I have an idea, I'm gonna put vodka in it, and then all of a sudden you're drinking every single day. <laughs> so that's just a metaphor, but what Spirit is saying is that you took a situation that was bad, you turned it good, and then all of a sudden you did too much of something and now it's bad. So we want to assess the details. I'm, I heard the word remote viewing. I don't know why I'm hearing the word remote viewing. So this could be something that is watching you remotely, something that is that you're looking into, something that you're interested in, or it could be you pulling up outside of your own self, outside of your own self, and assessing your life, assessing your world, assessing the details of your world in order to gain control, in order to gain momentum back of the ship of your life, so to speak. We have the chariot card here. And this is about 
you know, negatives and positives and good and the bad and just making it all work for you in alignment with your will and alignment with your intention. The high priestess also understands balance, cause and effect, dark and light, um, masculine, feminine, the polarities. Six of pentacles is actively working on making it work for you. And the hierophant says that there's rules, restriction and structure and restrictions for your own protection for your own, own well-being have you leo have you derailed off of that in some way shape or form and if you have it's time to bring it right back up this video is only five minutes maybe six minutes or whatever but the message itself is just so straightforward is there anything else that leo needs to hear and receive right now i'm seeing some um Wow, okay, Page of Cups. I'm seeing some journaling. I was just about to say this. I was seeing some journaling. I was seeing some bullet journaling, some vision boarding. Uh, I'm seeing it very creative, but I'm also seeing it very, I, I'm seeing you laying down the foundation of it. I'm seeing you, um, re, like it's almost like taking all of these steps back and being like, okay, what worked for me before? I'm gonna try that again. And it goes beyond just, oh, this is my plan. It's you tapping into reminding yourself, okay, what is the laws of attraction? What are, how does manifestation work? What is it that will make me powerful? What is that my, what are the basics of nutrition? What are the basics of healthy communication? It's things that it is that you already know, but you need to be reminded of. You need to kind of revisit them, reclaim them redefine them for yourself remember them and then embody them once again so yeah i mean that's a very straightforward message leo i'm not trying to rush through your reading at all but i just feel like it is what it is the what i would love to do is pull from you pull for you the sacred forest oracle cards see what spirit has for you what messages that you need to receive right now that would be helpful for my leo sun moon rising or my cross watchers at this time there's been a lot of high priestess energy that's been showing up wow look at this would you could you wow so you have the card Standing stones, so passage. And you also have transformation, butterfly spirit. What does this mean for you, Leo babies, right now? This means that it is time, clearly, for you to transform the transformation. Yep. I know that sounds wild, but it's time for you to transform the transformation. What does this mean? This means that, again, there was something that was totally outside of your control. This could have been a few months ago. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was triggered by um, current events, you know, at the time of at the time that is that we're filming with the virus and all that other stuff. You really turned lemons into lemonade, and then somehow it kind of switched into something that needs to be tightened up once again. With the passage card here, I feel like this is just absolutely essential to your own well-being and to moving from one stage of your life into the next. I do feel that this is very encouraging. It's very uplifting. I'm also hearing that spirit has a surprise for you. Um, it wants you, spirit wants you to be clear, clear, like spirit wants your chakras clear, your chakras cleansed, your energy cleansed before you can receive this blessing, before you can receive this gift. Because to be honest, it almost feels like you wouldn't be able to see it if it was to drop in your lap. Either you're cloudy minded, foggy headed. Oh, two of cups. So this is truly something that you're aligning with a relationship, partnership, intimacy, connection. 
you want to make sure that your energy is clear for this. Especially, you also have the Page of Cups here, my loves. So there is definitely an offering that's coming through. There is definitely a blessing that wants to manifest in the form of connection, intimacy, partnership, union, harmony, alliance, unity. But let's tighten the ship up first and not spend too much time getting derailed. Okay, laws of attraction. Again, I don't know why this is coming through, but just refocusing back on the core principles of the law of attraction, of manifestation, of magic, of diet, health, lifestyle, communicate, positive communicate, whatever it is that has derailed for you, revisit it from the bare bones. Not to say that you don't know it, you clearly know it, but you need to be reminded of it once again. And then we also have Queen of Swords, King of Cups, Six of Cups here. So these are things that it's information that has served in the past that's going to serve you in the present. Trust and believe. Okay, Leo, I hope that this makes sense. If you guys have any have any questions or concerns or anything else like that, please let me know down in, in the comments. If you need to manifest any of your hopes, wishes, and desires, please visit me in Bahati Life Apothecary. Um, that's my shop. It's BahatiLife.com or BahatiLife.com slash shop. And you will be able to find all of my fixed candles, hand fixed candles, herbs, oils, anything that is that you would possibly need, bundles in order to manifest, cleanse, renew, all of that, all of your intentions. Until then, you guys, I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahatiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahatiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.